in 2010, writer for the Taylor and Francis group and the journal Sex Research, Sandra Karen did a study on first year college students and their sexual encounters. Out of 330 students, 80% reported that they wear a condom when they have sex. Not bad. <laughs> but out of that 80%, only 30% reported back that they, that they wear a condom every single time they have sex. You know who you are. <laughs> Today I'm going to discuss Proposition 60, the initiative to make it a requirement to wear a condom in pornography. I will discuss a brief history on the initiative. I will discuss why supporters want it on the ballot and what they hope to achieve from it. And I will discuss why condom use in pornography is very much important. Let's begin. So, Proposition 60, this initiative, this idea to make it a requirement to wear a condom in pornography, it goes all the way back nearly three decades now. It all started back in the 1990s when the AIDS epidemic had a huge blow on the US. It was a nationwide scare. People wanted to see action. Action that would stop the spread of the disease and you know, not kill people. So legislative reforms started to be formed. There were so many talks about it. But then as time progressed, the news died down of the epidemic people's attention started to go elsewhere. So all these legislative reforms taken off the table, shelved, and basically put on hold indefinitely. And according to a professor at USC, writer of Resolving the Health and Safety of Performers in the Adult Film Industry, from the 1990s to 2004, over 950,000 people were infected with the HIV and AIDS virus. Can you even imagine what that number is today? <laughs> so next, I want to discuss why supporters went on the ballot. Well, let's say, for instance, that an actor in the industry, they get gonorrhea, and they spread it to another sex partner, and then that spreads to another sex partner. So then an investigation begins, and they trace it back to them. Generally, they would get in trouble, they'd get fired maybe, never rehired again for like, jobs in the industry. But with Proposition 60, they will not be held liable ever again. Only the producers, the pornographers, would be held liable because it is their job to provide the precautions, the protection for the actors in the industry. So that's one reason. And then another reason is that, in theory, Proposition 60 will save taxpayers money. With all these health treatments that these actors need for STDs and any related diseases, that comes from taxpayers' money. But if they're given the protection, such as simply wearing a condom, then that lessens the risk of them obtaining any sort of STD, which then lowers the cost for, or not cost, but lowers the amount of money that taxpayers would have to pay for them to get the treatments. And then, the last reason, for the most part, to protect the actors. It's like any other job. As Americans, we deserve to be protected from dangerous hazards. It's our right, plain and simple. So the last thing I would like to discuss is why it is especially important for condom use within the adult film industry. So that little scenario I said before about an actor in the industry spreading a d disease to one another. That actually happened in 2004. An actor tested positive for HIV. So the investigation begun. They tested everyone that this actor had worked with. End result, over 60 of these actors were infected with HIV and AIDS. So many productions had to be shut down. Many people were out of job for a while. It was a big, just, big tornado everywhere, not fun. So with Proposition 60 in hand, it could save jobs, you know, productions wouldn't be shut down, and, you know, people wouldn't die. Yeah. So I've discussed why 
people want Proposition 60 on the ballot. I've discussed a brief history on it and why it's important for the adult film industry to have condoms. And as a college student, when you know, having sex, I always think of a quote in mind, a very wise man. It's fictional, but still very wise. I quote Coach Carr, if you're going to touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. <laughs> Mean Girls, 2004. So now I leave Proposition 60 into the hands of America, and we'll see where it goes from there. Here's to safe sex and protecting adult film stars everywhere. God bless America. Thank you.